All right, what's going on, guys? So I just want to have sort of an informal chat with you guys about these super deceptive eBay listings. So I've talked about them in the past, and I've talked mainly about why they're deceptive. But today I want to focus more on seeing through the deception, right? So there's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of nonsense in these listings. Uh, so let's try and get past all of that and try to figure out what computers these people are actually selling. So one of the most popular things to do is sell these older pre-Retina MacBook Pros and try to pass them off as newer machines, as more expensive machines. So I've pulled out about five of these listings that we're going to go through and talk about the tricks that these eBay sellers employ to trick you into thinking that these are newer. But more importantly, we're going to try and figure out what year, what computers they're actually selling because they make it very hard for you. So, jumping in on this listing, you can see, starting from the title, we have MacBook Pro 13 Pre-Retina i5, 8GB of RAM, 1TB SSD HYBE. So, the first thing, this SSD HYBE is, first of all, very deceptive, because what this actually is, is a solid-state hybrid drive. And basically what that is, is a 1TB mechanical hard drive, usually just a 5400 RPM spinning drive. And then it has about 8 or 16 gigabytes of solid state memory that's used to kind of accelerate it. So these are these are pretty solid drives. I won't I won't lie. They're better than a normal hard drive. They're faster than a normal hard drive, but they're nowhere near SSD. And the reason that I have a problem with the way that they've done this is the correct denotation is SSHD. That tells you that it's a solid state hybrid drive. Putting one terabyte SSD and then this makes one terabyte SSD show up. So this could fool people into thinking that they're buying something that has a one terabyte SSD, which it doesn't. So that's our first piece of information. Basically, as far as the pictures go, we're going to kind of just ignore them because these pictures are meaningless already. The first thing I'll point out is that in this cover photo, you can see we have the old F4 function key from before Launchpad was introduced. And then on the second photo, you can see we have the newer style. So the pictures aren't even all of the same computer. And considering that this is a bulk listing, this really doesn't tell us anything at all. So let's go down and try and pull some information out of the item specifics. All of this stuff is garbage. The upgraded from early model year to current model year specs, that's meaningless. If we look down here, the first thing that you'll notice that's a little bit weird is Intel Core. So on this listing, I'm fairly confident that we have an i5, considering that they have that listed right down here, as well as up in the title. But on a lot of listings where they don't say that there's a Core i5, they'll, they'll use terminology like this uh, to try and make a Core 2 Duo sound modern. So basically, you can bet that if you're looking at a listing and it says Core i5 everywhere, then you've got a Core i5 on your hands. But if they're kind of quiet about that, if they don't really talk about it, they say dual core or they say uh, an Intel core or a dual core processor, you can probably guess that they're trying to cover up the fact that the machine has a Core 2 Duo. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at here is the processor speed to try and figure out what year we're working with. 2.4 gigahertz. So that's either a mid-2010 with a Core 2 Duo or a late 2011 base model with a Core i5. I'm going to assume because they have i5 plastered everywhere that we're talking about a 2011. But of course, these things can all change. So if you look down through this, you know, bunch of random nonsense down here, you'll see a 2.3 gigahertz core Intel i5 turbo processor up to 3 gigahertz. So first of all, ignore these turbo speeds. That's just to try and make you think that they're faster. This is a 2.3 gigahertz i5. That's an early 2011. So what you're actually buying here for $531 is a used seven year old, almost eight year old MacBook Pro with eight gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte spinning drive with a little bit of SSD storage in there for good. And for that, you're expected to pay $531. That is absurd. So let's move on to the next listing. I'll try to go through these a little bit quicker. So here's one from Fleetwood MacBooks. And first of all, you can see here uh, 3.0 gigahertz i5. That is just hilarious. That's why I opened this listing. They've quoted the turbo clock speeds. 
That is like one of the most deceptive things that you can do. It's just ridiculous. Now, if you look at, again, one terabyte SSD, the last listing they at least had the courtesy, they had the courtesy to put in Hybe for hybrid after that. But this, these people just have SSD. That is unbelievably deceptive. If you look in this photo, you can see what is very clearly a spinning mechanical hybrid SSD drive over there. That is not an SSD. So one of the other things, this is interesting, we actually have what looks like some sort of information here. Um, 1600 MHz DDR3, 2.4 i5, that's a late 2011 Intel HD Graphics 3000. So we'll see if that's actually what they're selling here, but that is what we should be getting. So let's scroll down and take a look over here. You can see 2.4 GHz, 3 GHz turbo, super scummy for them to put uh, the turbo speed in the title as the clock speed of the processor. You can see SSHD, it is in fact a hybrid drive, it is not a solid state drive. Once again they say core instead of core i5, I don't know why, um, it, would, it would actually be better for them if they put a core i5 down there, whatever. Scroll down again. All right, so they actually listed the exact processor model. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a lie. Virtual quad-core processor. You, you basically got to look past all of that. Um, they'll say that there's that the RAM and the hard drive are new, and somehow that's supposed to be better. Really doesn't matter. Once again, we are buying what appears to be a late 2011 MacBook Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte hybrid drive. That's the almost identical computer to the last one we looked at, and once again, it's $540 with $20 shipping. That is absurd. Okay, so let's look at another common thing that you'll see in these listings. OS 2017, or in the case of this listing, you'll have OS X 2015. That is a tactic that is used to make these listings show up with newer computers. So let's look at this one. This is a, this is a good final listing over here. So, we have 15-inch Apple MacBook Pro 1TB SSD hybrid, pre-retina, 6GB RAM, OS X 2015. Very, very strange terminology here. Let's dissect that a little bit. Once again, 1TB SSD hybrid. I have no problem with that, but the fact that they write 1TB SSD is deceiving when it's actually an SSHD. You gotta get that stuff right. 6GB of RAM is weird. I don't know why they wouldn't do 8 but the big one here is OS 10 2015. So basically the reason that sellers will do this is here, let me look up 2015 MacBook Pro. You'd think I'd get a MacBook Pro from 2015, but look at that. <laughs> this listing is the first one that comes up. Right below it we have, all right, so that one is an actual retina. There's a couple of actual retinas. Here's one OS 10 2015. This is not <laughs> from 2015 at all. There's another one, if you go down you can see, I mean just, just look, looking from the thumbnails you can see the infrared sensors that, that tell you that these are pre-retina MacBook Pros. There's just a ton of these that dominate these search results. And if we actually look at this computer, you can see very clearly that this is nowhere near a 2015 MacBook Pro. So most of the times when you see OS 10 2015, they're talking about the version of OS 10 that it comes with. It makes you think that you're buying a computer from 2015 when in fact you're getting the Mac OS from 2015, which in this case is El Capitan. Usually they'll do that because that's the most recent OS that they can run. So most of these OS 10 2015 MacBook Pros are in fact from 2009 or even earlier because they can only go up to Mac OS El Capitan. So as we can see here looking through these pictures, really not too much that's going to tell us. These are some pretty awful pictures. I mean, look at, why did they pick this computer with a giant dent in the side? I mean, these are just horrible, horrible pictures. Anyway, let's scroll down here and take a look. Um, you can see, first of all, Intel Core 2 Duo. So that tells you, since this is a 15 inch, that means that the most recent this can be is a 2009, because in 2010, they switched over to Core i5s and i7s on the 15 inch MacBook Pros. So, 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo. And sure enough, over here, operating system, Mac OS El Capitan, which is from 2015. 
That's how they get around that. And again, you can see up in the seller notes, preloaded with OS 10 2015 El Capitan. That's how they justify putting that in the title. And there it is again over here, Mac OS X 2015 El Capitan. Really, really not great. And also, I work in iLife 2015. That just does not exist. So as you can see, what you're actually buying here for $570 plus $25 shipping is a 2009 MacBook Pro with six gigabytes of RAM, a Core 2 Duo, and a one terabyte hard drive. This is why you need to make sure that you are looking very, very carefully at these computers, at these listings, because it's very easy to skim over these and just kind of see, oh, it's a MacBook Pro SSD hybrid, that's good, 2015, boom, add to cart. It's very simple to do that, but you also really need to look through these listings to make sure that you know what you're getting into, because the, they will almost always tell you the information about the computer. It's required for them to put in these specifications of the computer, you know, just from eBay policies, so it really is important that you go through and you make sure you know what you're buying and that will help you determine whether or not what you are buying is in fact a scam, a ripoff, or what have you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani. Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to join my subreddit if you have any questions, if you have a listing that you'd like to run past me and my group of people that uh, do this stuff all the time. So feel free to go head over there if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.